This is for my brothers and sisters out there who are currently being stalked, hoovered, lied about, being framed by a narcissist, by a cluster B, cluster F. There is only one cure for narcissistic personality disorder. Bring back dueling. These people decided to be evil. There is no saving them. Sure, the random 1%. Sure, there might be some miracle. Some shining light out of heaven might come down upon one of these demonic creatures and turn them around and make them realize, ah, maybe being a piece of complete stalkish evil trash isn't the way to be. But other than that, the safest bet is to understand. These people chose to be evil. Their, their entire shtick is deception. So when you see anybody out there saying, yeah, I got this, but I'm changed. I'm here. Don't believe it. Do not believe it. When you see one of these creatures out here being defended by anyone who's saying, oh, but people can change. Oh, they're not evil. Maybe you need to heal. Understand that that person defending that cluster B, cluster F is either a narcissist themselves, either another type of cluster B or trauma bonded. Or someone whose empathy is on over-regulation. They got their tongue up their own back hole. There is no being nice about this. These people are evil. Look at what they do. A history of actions. How do they act? They come after your character with intent. They come after you. They go after the people that you talk to. They go after anyone connected to you to make you feel further isolated. They will come at you with a bunch of sock puppet accounts. They will come at you and turn friends against you so that they can make you feel further isolated and both trust and believe that they're a cluster B. The end goal, aside from traumatizing you and keeping you under control for as long as they can is for you to unalive yourself. That is their badge of evil. That is their trophy of darkness. Don't think that it's any other way. Don't think it. There is only one cure for narcissistic personality disorder. Bring back dueling. My love to y'all. Stay strong. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other and never again suffer these fools. My love to y'all. All right, guys, get ready because I'm going to teach you the most powerful spell that you can use against a narcissist. You ready? It's called, no, no, I'm not putting up with your lies. I'm not putting up with your fake face. No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear all the gobbledygook nonsense that tumbles out of your face hole uh, that you need in order to try and manipulate you. Someone, no, I'm not going to listen to your smear campaigns. I'm not going to believe them. I'm not going to care. No, I don't. I see all those flying monkeys coming at me that are all just sock puppet accounts that you created in order to hoover. <laughs> no, I am not going to give you the power back that I that I retain when I said, no, I'm not talking to you anymore. No, I'm not dealing with you anymore. No, that is the most, th listen, that's the most powerful spell you can use against them. It makes them insane. And at first they're going to be like, oh, negative fuel. Yeah, we're going to fight. Oh, I'm going to get this person back under my control. Oh, I'm going to spread a bunch of lies. Oh, I'm going to gather up as much hateful people around as I can. Oh, I know their past and I'm going to hit all their triggers and I'm going to gather up <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gather up all the sad, burning demon clowns that I possibly can in order to come after you. And you can just say, no, no, it's not going to happen. No, you sad grown toddler walking around stomping and stepping on Legos. No, you, 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 you sad, deceitful piece of trash who does nothing but go life from life from life and ruin people. No, you delusional F, you person who refuses to see reality for what it is because you need to lie to yourself and lie to everyone else about who you are and who everyone else is. No, you sad demon clown who has to be either the hero or the victim, never the villain. No, no is the most powerful, powerful spell that you can use against one of these narcissists. They're soulless, they're evil, and if they're a dude, they're absolutely throwing something up their ass. My love to y'all, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other and never again suffer these fools. My love to y'all. Can a narcissist who is either un- or self-aware help? Sure. They can help themselves to supply. They can help themselves to driving you crazy. They can help themselves to stalking you. They can help themselves to smearing you. They can help themselves to, to driving mental, mental instability. They can help themselves to fooling you. They can help themselves to putting on a face mask and saying they're trying to educate you when, in fact, they're just trying to abuse you. The reason is a lack of empathy. That's right, brothers and sisters. These people are not connected to spirit, they have decided to connect themselves to the devil. This is why they do the evil that they do. This is why their moral compass is completely backwards. This is why they think good is evil and evil is good. This is why they can smile smugly like a douchebag in your face while telling you that things like connection to source, empathy, or compassion don't exist is because... Going to a narcissist for any type of spiritual content or spiritual enlightenment 
It's like expecting that that nurse's BPD girlfriend is they're actually getting sex toys for her and <laughs> she's not gonna she's not gonna spread butt butter all up in his man muffin today. <laughs> if you actually believe that any of these people are telling you the truth and trying to help you or are in any way being genuine, I have a castle that I'd like to sell you. As a matter of fact, I have an island that I'd like to sell you. I think we should all collect these people up and put them on an island. And on this island, we put nothing but small blunt weapons, sharp objects, start objects dildos, blue chew, and some ditty oil. And sure, the cerebral narcs will try to fashion themselves some type of smart weaponry or defense systems or try and isolate themselves on an island, on the, a little part of the island. But let's face it, there's way more semantics out there that are going to love graping, talking trash, triangulating, yelling and blaming and shifting, uh, anything from another narc to a coconut. And we should let them fucking suck and destroy and, and, and break one another all over this island. I think it would be a great getaway. This is what we should forget bring back dueling i think we should also televise this event we'll get all the self-aware narcs we'll get all the we'll just we'll get all the narcs and the psychos and the socios all the cluster bees and we'll throw them on this island and then we'll televise it i think we could get rid of the national debt we'd even let them have their own social let's drop their phones so that they can continue to make content and videos telling people there's no such thing as empaths or compassion there's no, and that they're absolutely not having anything thrown up their ass uh they're not stalking anybody uh let them continue to bs I think that we literally could get to a point where it would be so entertaining for the rest of the world to see these lunatics d going off on socials uh, that we wouldn't have to pay taxes anymore. They could they could lower the national debt. It would be televised everywhere. We'll get all the countries involved. We'll have narcs of all so from all shades of the rainbow involved in destroying, sucking, fucking, and throwing things up each other's ass. I think it would be a great idea, brothers. Just be good to yourselves. Be good to each other, and never again suffer these fools. Uh, let's like let's make Narc Island happen. Never give up. Never stop. Never accept less. You keep pressing forward. No matter what life throws at you, it's going to be ups and downs. You're going to run into liars here and there. You're going to run into people that want to use you. You're going to run into people that want to abuse you. You're going to run into people that don't give a damn about you. The, the measure of your character is in how you act, what you do, and what you can overcome, brothers and sisters. Narcissists absolutely understand when they hurt you. They know what they're doing. They make the choice to be evil. They make the choice to be selfish. This is not a disorder that comes from some involuntary impulse, not in the way of them having cognitive empathy. They look and discern what their words and actions do to you, how you respond to them. They look for triggers. They look to see how they can create a feeling within you to get what they want. And they also understand selfishly when they get hurt, they get sad, they get called out, they get told what they are. They know how that hurts them. Narcissists understand cognitive empathy. This, to me, is a clear example that they know exactly what they are doing with malicious intent to harm, hurt, use, and abuse other people. So don't get that twisted. They are also delusional. They lie to themselves. They lie to themselves that they are the hero of the story or they are the victim of the story, depending on how your reactions to their abuse affects them. They are aware of these things. They choose to be that delusional and lie to themselves, again, showing they, they understand exactly who and what they are. They make the choice to be evil. Now, my brothers and sisters, understand this. When it comes to emotional intelligence of their selves, they have a very, very low intelligence. These are grown toddlers, sad, angry clowns in the burning circus of narcissism. So if you have to flip the script... If you can control your emotional center, the thing that they are trying to destabilize in order to use and abuse you, if you can calm yourself, control your reactions, and choose to respond, it is quite easy to use a narcissist's broken ego, broken, fragile, dis distorted core against them and trigger them into any number of emotional reactions. Understand this, you have always had the power. My love to y'all, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and never again suffer these fools. My love to y'all.